Hey everyone, it's Apache here and welcome back to another episode of Modded Mega Aquarium Brutal Mode Campaign. Thank you very much for joining me today and continuing to show you support for the series. If you do enjoy this episode, please leave a like and a comment, and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe as well. So today we are heading into the final level here, Megalopolis. Build a mega aquarium containing the largest fish on the planet. So here we go. It's been a long time since I played this one. I do remember this being a relatively long-winded level. Um, I believe we might actually start off at rank 7, so it might be quite difficult to do this. So the final challenge awaits. Here in Megalopolis, you are tasked with building an aquarium fit for the world's largest fish, the whale shark. It's a long road ahead. First, you must build your aquarium from scratch, using everything you have learned to reach the lofty heights of rank 12. Rank 12 is the maximum rank achievable, and you will have access to all the tools required to house the whale shark, and more because we're playing in modded. Your aquarium will eventually grow to a colossal size, so you will plan your layout carefully so that it is easy to expand. I will be in touch once you have grown to a moderate size. Happy building. So here we go. Right, so we have 25,000 to start off with. We have three messages with flame angel fish, voltains, lionfish and a porcupine pupper for sale. So I think we had better get on with starting off. Uh, one of the things I do remember doing um, is if we grab out a couple of full-size tanks, full-size lagoon tanks, one of the ways, really nice, easy ways to start off with lots of um, ecology and lots of science is to put in 44 King Demoiselle into one little bit here. So we're going to do that. I'm going to test out this theory, see if it still works in these later versions of the game here. And so that is 44 King Damoiselle in there. And if we have a look as well, we have something which gives you a lot of science. That's probably going to be these Royal Grammar. And so we'll just fill this one up with as many of these as we can. There we go. And these are the only two tanks that I'm actually going to put in here at the moment. I'm going to put these in there and there. I'm going to block off back there and we're going to start off really, really simple. So we're going to grab, oh wow, we only have basic pumps. Okay, that's a bit harsh. So we're going to grab those there and there. Looks like we actually start pretty low down on this. And I know this is way, way overkill on what we need for that. But that's okay, it means we can add more on when we want, once we get the power pumps. And also, of course, we are going to need a staff door into the back there. And we may as well actually add another one on this side as well. And then we will need some orange pellets. So we'll put the orange pellets. But three of them, because all of these fish need those uh, pellets. And it's only two each, but we like we need 88 in this one. And how many do we have in here? Um, not sure. <laughs> a lot, anyway. And, and that's it. That's, that's all I want to do to start this level off. This is going to allow us to get a decent amount of prestige, not prestige, of ecology and a decent amount of um, the science points to start off with. And I want someone that's going to be okay at both feeding and fixing. So you look like you're going to be okay, Claire. Let's just have a look through, see if there's anybody else. No, it's going to be Claire. We're going to get Claire. And again, we're only get, going to get one member of staff to start with. Um, we can also get a drinks vending machine and a bin. Um, I'm not going to get any of the other stuff for now. This is everything. Um, apart from, we need a couple of the tool stations. And so we'll put a few back. And now we're going to open. And that's it. That's all we're going to do. We're going to let this run on. We're going to see what's available to us. We are at rank 4. So uh, yeah, we've got from rank 4 all the way up to rank 12. And I might eventually end up actually spilling some of this over into the between episodes. So I might 
kind of end off today at rank 5 and then beginning of next episode we may be at rank 6 because all I want to do is try and blast my way up to rank 12 as fast as possible and that is going to be the main aim of this of the first couple maybe two or three episodes of this level it's just trying to get up to that rank 12 position as soon as possible we're also going to grab along the way definitely the neon tetra because i think one of the first things i want to do in this level uh, this is going to give us the ecology and science that we need to start off with however one of the biggest things that i am desperately going to need in this aquarium is money so I want to try and make this aquarium as profitable as possible, as early as possible. So we can build up a decent stockpile, so we can start getting these uber filters. And then later on in rank 12, we will start act being able to access the perfect filters from the perfect filters mod. And they are actually a lot cheaper. It's still expensive, but a lot cheaper. And they will be a huge amount better for us in the very end game. So yeah, let me just carry on for a while here. I'm going to do a little bit of the initial research and uh, get this up to scratch and I'll meet you back in a second. So I've let the game run on for quite a while now. You can see I've done all of the science research that's available to us at the moment. There's not a huge amount because we are only at level four. Um, however, I think these two tanks have now pretty much served their purpose. We've got a lot of the fish up to rank four and I'm just starting to go through rank four stuff now. Um, but I think it's going to be better now, um, I've hired a lot of new staff, uh, to actually start building out this place the way we want it to be. Because I've got new staff and because I have been levelling them up, it's best to get as many staff as possible early and just try and suffer through uh, what we've done, uh, levelling them up and, and their wages getting more and more, eventually get to a point where you start losing money. And that's the part we're at now. So what you need to do now is essentially sell everything off and spend more so we're going to get rid of all of this stuff um, and the data sign there I'm actually going to close the aquarium as well so if we click on the entrance here we can toggle this closed play this for a bit just to make sure all of the guests leave and we'll end up with as I say about 30,000 and then we can sell off all of these as well. There we go. Um, oh, a bit more over here. We can get all the money back from these. And then, of course, we can get rid of this bit here. At the moment, I'm still not going to open this place up just yet because we've got enough space here to actually build a fairly profitable place. As you can see at the front, I've got the four uh, Tetra tanks. Now they do a good job to actually give you some money coming in, however there is more that we can do. Not a huge amount at the moment, um, the, the biggest way that I can make money at the moment is to, as fast as possible, get up to rank 5. So what I want to do is try and save as much money back as possible here. And I think the way we're going to do that is to try and get a nice big tank, um, something like one of these deep sunken wall tanks and we're going to place that right there and we could go for two of them maybe and do it that way but I think I think we're just going to go for one of them just for now just to make sure that we've got this pinned down so we're going to put that right in the center we're going to drag these walls across and this might seem we're actually scaling down however this is a bigger tank so 168 um, and we will be able to fill this up with lots of different stuff if in the two tanks that we had they were size 88 each uh, so we've actually just gained no in fact we've we've lost a little bit of space but we will be able to fill this up with much much better stuff a lot of prestige building stuff and so what this is what this is going to be about now just trying to build up prestige so we want some really nice stuff in this tank so let's have a look what prestige fish we have that we can put in here which will be nice and profitable for now um, we definitely want warm water because nothing we can do there's nothing we can do with cold water for now um, we don't really want any of the demoiselles because they're all one uh, in the 
uh, in Prestige. Um, butterflyfish are okay. Three disco mushrooms, we could do something with uh, lights in here. Uh, means we couldn't put these in, but if we put some disco mushrooms in, they are decent prestige. Just looking for high level stuff. We're not going to touch the hammerhead shark, probably not at all in this level. Um, other than that, it's not a huge amount, other than like these. If we put bullies in, Although these require mice shrimp, which are a little bit awkward to do for now. With the, uh, the staff that we have. So yeah, it looks like we might go for a light-based tank. So let's get the lights in first. There we go. I want 25,000, so we're back to the money we started with now. So if we grab out, uh, let's say in here and the disco mushrooms we want one two three uh, four of those and that will give us a 62 percent chance um however 100 percent negative because they don't have their stuff fulfilled and because these are probably the most fussy filtration ones we can probably get away uh with working out what we need for this now so if we grab a mega pump, oh not a mega pump, I wish. We grab one of these out, then we can add in. I think for now, will be no four of these won't work. So it'll have to be two of those, um, one of these. Now that has actually done it, but we probably want a protein skimmer as well. There we go. And we want some zooplankton back here for these. So we want the zooplankton. I'm going to put that there. Now this, we also want a staff door back here for these. There we go. And we're going to want the tool stations back in as well. Okay, so we're still on 21,000. So we need to make this look a bit pretty. And we need to add some more stuff into it as well. So we'll put some fan water in for now. Um, what else do we want in here with the disco mushrooms? Now we've probably got some stuff in here that would be really quite good. Uh, the plate fish would actually be quite good at six. And actually, these small coral rocks and stuff would be really good in there. So I think we're going to put as many of these different things in as they come up as we can. So we want stuff which is going to be fairly decent in, um, in prestige. I'm actually going to change this to be one of these coral rocks as well. Because we want to try and fill the bottom of this with as many of these as possible. So, we want stuff which is decent in, um, in ecology. Now if we go for these bullies, then there are a decent amount of these bullies around. The bullies will be fine together, but not good with the wimps. So if we just stick a few of these in couple of different types of these. Uh, we want four of these. Half and half chromis. We'll go for two of these reticulate decilius. Um, banded humbug. It not only gives two two times, this gives two and a half times, but that is a wimp. Uh, I suppose these only give two times as well under these. So we're going to want say a couple of these ones as well. Now, all of these are working well together but we do need some um, let's see we will want some orange pellets back here as well and go for two of those and I think we need to do something over here as well so we're gonna get some benches I'm gonna put the benches just there like that, with a bin between the benches, 
that gives a nice area for that and then we're gonna have a couple of toilets in the wall here so we'll open that up to there we'll open this up to there in fact why not one more we'll put in the basic toilets and then over here on these bits here we can add in uh, where are they four of those so four people can use them at once and then in the middle here we might as well have one of these big data signs just there and then over here somewhere we can put these in now these are expensive I don't know if they're really worth it but we'll add them in as well and then for good measure I'm actually going to put a couple more of these in on either side that gives us 10,000 to play with uh, we are going to lose a decent amount of money in the first few days here while everything comes back up to scratch however I, I think this oops, did not want to do that resume game right click on the right right links go to here we toggle this to open and we press play uh, so yeah I think we've got enough to be able to survive um, but we shall see uh, I'm gonna let this play through a few days just to get this back up to normal it'll be interesting to see like halfway through the afternoon today we're on say 12,100 ish yeah 12,200 It'll be interesting to see just how many people we get in. Uh, yeah, we're losing about a thousand. Wow, okay. So yeah, this is going to take a few days to kind of settle back to normal, get more people in, get them wandering around, eating stuff and drinking stuff and buying fish and all sorts like that. So I think this should even out at some point. So give me a little bit of time to do that and I'll join you back in a minute. So welcome back, we're doing okay. I am still leveling up my staff, but I have actually got rid of three of them. Um, we're now down to just five members of staff. Um, we got rid of Pancho, Dante and Romeo. However, we did start leveling these up just a little bit for later on when we do start needing them. Uh, once we start getting the talks and stuff like that and um, expand out, we're going to need a lot of staff in this. I'm sure pretty much everyone watching this will have um, played Mega Aquarium before and we'll know just how crazy this level can actually end up. Hey, come back you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> um, didn't actually want to put them in there. So yeah, this level will end up getting very, very big. I think the next thing I do want to do is actually start putting in a couple more tanks just on the side here. And we're going to use the raised tank here because I want to add in a Zebra Moray Eel. So if we put this tank, say, there, press pause just for a second to get rid of these four bits, we can add this tank in here, we can add in a little platform and that a stair, and we can scroll down and go to the Zebra Moray Eel. Now this is going to need a little bit of cave, so we can put that in, uh, and some mussels. So if we add one of these in, I think we can only have one of them in here. Let's just have a look how big they grow. Oh, size 9. Okay, so we can actually have two of them in there. I mean, technically we could have three of them, but I think two is going to be best. Um, we're going to need to add in the mussels right next to it just here. We're going to have to have some thick PVC pipe just there and a little bit of what else let's see what would be nice in here um go for a little bit of sea lettuce around a couple of small rocks and decor item so go for a pagoda just there i think that'll be okay Still got seven and a half thousand. 
Now, what's different with this game, especially compared to the last uh, campaign mission I run, is the brutal mode. And we're really, really going to feel it in this level. Um, because the biggest thing with brutal mode, um, I worked it out the other day actually, I was, I was walking home from town, I'd been in town, I was walking home just thinking about this game and the next episode that I was going to make, and I realised that it, you get the same amount of money coming in as you do in a normal game. So the amount of money coming in is exactly the same, but the amount of money that you pay out for pretty much everything is doubled. So to complete the same objective is it's not even just twice as difficult it's kind of exponential the more that you need to put into a project the, the less you get out of it in the end because you're paying double for absolutely everything and you're getting the same amount of money in um it 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 sounds like it would just be twice as difficult but it, it's really not because of the scale of how much you're losing out on and just the, the small amount that you're getting back in compared to the massive, massive amounts that you have to pay out for everything. I mean, we've seen that the, the triple modded triple filters in brutal mode are 767,000 to buy. That's a ridiculous amount of money in this game. And I'm pretty sure that it is possible to make a modded item that you cannot actually buy in survival mode. Uh, you could only buy it in, well, not crazy mode, sandbox mode. You'll only buy it in a, in a sandbox where you have infinite money. So if you have an infinite money cheat in survival, then you could do it like that. Um, just give yourself infinite money, give yourself one, and then drop the infinite money cheat. And that's something we may think about in the modded sandbox, which I'm going to run very soon within the next couple of weeks. Um, actually trying to get some of these really ridiculously expensive items that we wouldn't be able to get otherwise. Um, and then just coming back out of infinite money straight away. But I'm not too sure about that. Um, I'm, I've, I've got to decide how I want to play it yet. However, for this level, um, the, the biggest thing is that this doesn't look like a huge amount of money. And it, it, to be honest, it's not. We could probably get away with just a power combi within this. I am going to see whether we can. And it does look like we can for now. But because these guys are actually going to grow up and get bigger... And I am actually going to put a protein skimmer in with this. And I'm hoping that this will, will sort that out and be fine. I have had to add in more here because I've started adding in the corals down the bottom there as well. As they are being um, researched here. And as I say, I am going to keep uh, leveling up my staff. Because if you don't level up your staff, then again you will hit a brick wall and everything in your aquarium will start dying. So I think there's a few members of staff that I might just kind of leave in the log and not level up any further. Um, but for most of them, I want to try and get up to level 10 in feeding and fixing and talking as soon as possible, because they are the three biggest ones that you need. Well, I think this might be a nice little introduction video to this level. Um, this is going to take quite a while. You can see we are actually increasing now in prestige. Uh, we're doing okay, but it is still going to take a while. I'm going to put another one of these on this side, I think, between episodes. And just try and get up to rank 5 for the beginning of next episode. And try and get ourselves a little bit better off with money. Um, I'm hoping that this isn't going to take too many episodes but as I say a lot of this I mean we're, we've already done 90 days in episode one so it, it's going to take a long 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 time in game to be able to do this and um, for me it's just a matter of waiting until I've got enough money to be able to do another little recorded segment and stuff so uh, yeah it, it, it's a bit difficult to do uh, just uh, making sure that these are okay now that they have grown up and yes, it does seem like they are They're being looked after well, and they are actually generating us a decent amount of uh, prestige and science income now. So that's good. So yeah, this is where we're going to leave it off for today. It's a bit of a shorter episode than I may have liked, but yeah, it's, it's just, just slow at the very beginning here. Once we get up to rank 5, the game is going to open up for us, and every single level after that, the game will open up more and more and more and more, until finally we can get a mega tank. 
So yeah, thank you very much for joining me today. If you did enjoy this episode, please leave a like, comment and subscribe on the video and to the channel, and I will. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel and liking and commenting on the videos. Thanks. See you next time.